So it's finally happening, JLo and Ben Affleck have found their dream home and the big move is underway. The two were trying to buy a giant mansion a couple of months ago, but when that didn't work out, they kept looking. Now they've been spotted on the move and the word is their new mansion once belonged to Danny DeVito and then Mariah Carey's ex-fiance James Packer. The estate was extensively renovated recently, boasting a total square footage of 29,000 square feet across four structures and a long list of luxe amenities. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Last week moving trucks were spotted outside of both Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez's respective homes. These two lovebirds have been on the hunt for a place to live together for what feels like over a year now, in the midst of which they even got engaged. Just a couple of short months ago it looked like these two had found the perfect place, a 50 million dollar beauty that the couple went into escrow grow to purchase. Unfortunately, that deal fell through, leaving Benefer to hit the market once again. But these two were so determined that they wouldn't waste any time or expense. While they spent an afternoon checking out the former childhood home of Tori Spelling, a $165 million monster of a mansion that will also take a peek at, it didn't turn out to be the perfect home for the couple. Instead, they kept searching and eventually discovered their new home and landed it in an off-market deal. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment and today we'll take a look at the new home of Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit me up on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. In March of 2022, it was announced that Ben and Jen had entered escrow to purchase a pretty substantial $50 million property. In fact, we even profiled their potential love nest in an earlier house tour video. Well, not long after this, the deal fell through. It's not exactly clear what happened or why, but a buyer can pull out at any time during the inspection period. So maybe JLo and Ben discovered something about the home that they didn't love, or they decided that it wasn't the right place for them. But hitting a snag in the road was wasn't going to put a damper on their hopes of finding the perfect place together. Instead, they kept looking. That's when, in mid-April, Ben and Jen were spotted outside a truly epic mansion. I'm talking one worth a stunning $165 million price tag, almost three times what they were going to pay for the home that fell through. This huge estate nicknamed The Manor boasts 14 bedrooms, a whopping 27 bathrooms, and it was previously owned by TV legend Aaron Spelling, his wife Candy, as well as their daughter Tori Spelling. After having owned the home for a number of years, Aaron sold the property to English socialite Petra Ecclestone, who then spent $20 million renovating the property and turning it into the stunning work of art it is today. Shortly thereafter, Petra would sell it herself in 2019, pocketing a cool $120 million in the process. Now that we've got a sense of the home's history, let's take a look at the estate itself. Crawling across 4.68 acres of land on one of the most in-demand streets in the neighborhood known as Holmby Hills, this property's outdoor amenities are numerous. Not only does it include a massive backyard, there's also a swimming pool and spa, fountains, a full-sized tennis court, as well as citrus trees and rose gardens. While the home's exterior looks a lot like it did in the 1990s, Petra updated the interiors to reflect her Euro chic sense of style, which included black and white marble, plus moody dark grays and silver, set into its 56,000 square feet of space. Then there's the stunning modern entrance hallway complete with dual winding staircases. It's the kind of front hall most would dream of having. Moving on to the master suite, it's over 5,000 square feet all on its own, and the ensuite bath boasts a large heart-shaped mirror alongside a freestanding tub located in the center of the room. Other luxurious amenities inside the home include a library, numerous sitting rooms, gift wrapping rooms, flower cutting rooms, and a mansion-sized attic. But the highlights are probably the in-house hair salon, the indoor bowling alley, as well as this crushed velvet style home theater. Well, maybe all of these extra features were just a bit too much for JLo, because she and Ben ultimately decided to pass on this place and keep searching. After a couple more months of continuous house hunting, it sounds like she and Ben finally found it. Now, it's reported that Jennifer and Ben's long hunt has finally come to an end. After discovering moving trucks outside of 
both Ben and JLo's individual homes in LA, it had been uncovered just where it is that they're moving to. According to sources, Ben and JLo have secured a gigantic Beverly Hills estate in an off-market deal from Mariah Carey's ex-fiance James Packer. Not only did he formerly live here, once upon a time actor Danny DeVito called this place home too. It's been hard to confirm this was the mansion Benefer bought though because it was done in an off-market deal. In fact, sources would go as far to say that the home was never even under consideration of being shown to anyone else except for Ben and Jen. Which means if this Hollywood power couple fell in love with the place, they must have made an offer that the owner couldn't refuse. Multiple moving trucks were seen both at the new property and at JLo's Bel Air home, while her white Cadillac Escalade was also parked outside their new alleged place. During their long search, JLo and Ben were said to have a laundry list of A-list requirements their new home would have to have, including things like a beauty salon and spa, at least a 2,000 square foot closet, his and hers bathrooms, two kitchens, only the finest materials, and high-end appliances, and of course a pool, a guest house, and an office. And according to everything that's been uncovered about this mansion, it has all that and then some. At this still early point, details are slim, but it's said the estate boasts 14,000 square feet of space in the main house, seven bedrooms, dozens of sitting rooms, and an upscale marble kitchen. Initially, the estate once had 1.77 acres of land, but when a couple of real estate developers lived here, they extensively renovated it. These days, the estate is split in two, with a property spanning about 1.29 acres into total square footage of around 29,000 square feet across four structures. Also in the main mansion, there's a space entertainment room, an elegant dining room, a games room, and even a hair salon. Meanwhile, aside from the several guest houses on the property, there's also the essential swimming pool and spa setup. If that's not enough, the eight car garage looks sufficient for JLo and Ben's car collection, which includes Jen's Rolls Royce Phantom Drophead and Bentley, and Ben's Tesla Lexus RS, as well as about three other luxury cars and a handful of motorcycles. The grounds also offer plenty of entertaining spaces and patterns outside as you might expect. The compound was on the market back in 2018 for $85 million, three years after Danny DeVito sold it for about $28 million. This time, since it was in an off-market deal, the exact amount Benefer spent on this estate is unknown. The rumor making the rounds is that the home is worth at least $60 million, but considering what it was on the market for last time, it could very well have been around $85 million or more. Well, now that JLo and Ben have the home of their dreams, all we have to wait around for next is the wedding. I mean, they could even host it here. Well, that just about wraps up this Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez house tour, so thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to let us know what you think about their new mega mansion in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't, follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!